Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, an unboxing and a first impression of the Foldscope. If you don't know what the Foldscope is, uh, it is it is a microscope that was created in order to help diagnose malaria in third world countries and it is made the the ones for third world countries are made completely out of plastic um, and paper. So uh, primarily paper and they're they're incredibly cheap and uh, like I don't want to I'll pull it up later and we'll kind of look at the website so we can get some more ac accurate information but I believe it's less than a dollar to produce uh, each microscope and I don't, I'm not entirely sure but I believe it's maybe times 140 magnification um, so of course it's fixed and you can't really change the magnification too much but uh, as far as I know, but I don't know a whole lot about it. I saw it a few months ago and just uh, decided I had to have it. Decided that it would be cool to have and support a company that's doing stuff like this. Um, Alright, so let's look at this microscope. Let's start opening it up. So it comes well packaged uh, with foam. You have some safety and warnings. Basically, uh, there's glass, um, do not eat batteries, stuff like that. Uh, Read all the assembly instructions, yeah, basically, don't use if you're under 8, you might choke. There's potentially sharp edges. Alright, so, we have a, okay, so this piece here is a corrected version of the sample stage. So, it may have a small problem with the slide, insertion, slot, so they went ahead and included the, the replacement part on top of the the regular product so if this one contains the wrong product then or the wrong setup stage or sample stage then we will have the proper piece see how this is just made out of paper it's got a nice fancy graphic on it and i'm sure the production ones for uh, third world countries don't have that but um but yeah they they're all paper that's pretty cool all right so let's open it up. This case is actually pretty cool. Alright. It's a nice metal little tin, little tin case. So this is my first time really opening this thing and getting a look at it. I've, I've seen it online and stuff. I haven't watched any videos or anything on it. So, um, and it's, fair, it's not a fairly common product, so I kind of wanted to do an unboxing. Got a really nice hinge on the lid. That's pretty nice. We have some kind of instructions here in the that are stuck in the lid. So it's just this accordion folded instruction manual, typical of what you would see. Uh, slide mounting. Okay, so it starts here. Parts for assembly. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna have to come out for me to see it. There. Instruction manual, parts for assembly. Accessories sheet uh, and assembly, assembly instructions is step three, and it takes up the rest of the, the front here. Slide mounting, they look really nice. Like the, the instructions are really nice looking. They don't look they don't look hard to follow at all. Um, I'm assuming this is geared towards uh, people of all ages, so they wanted kids to to be able to assemble this as well. So that's pretty neat. So we'll put that back there. I guess this is a this is just a letter from the company. That way, this thing's pretty neat though. I mean, it wasn't that expensive either for a uh, microscope like this. It was only um, I think this is only like forty dollars, and it and you know being that it's made of paper mostly, the most of your uh, the price is going to go into helping fund other fold scopes for third world countries and all the little accessories that you get that they won't get uh, or potentially won't get and the case and stuff, the nice case and also the fancy graphics and stuff. It's basically just a, um, it's basically just like the U.S. version for people who want one that uh, want to support the cause and stuff. So I guess this is like a microscope 
or like a magnifying lens, tweezers, yeah, lens LED magnifier. Um, it's it's written on here too. Well plate uh, slash scissors. Oh, it's underneath. I was trying to figure out how that was scissors. The scissors are behind. You can see them better on the video than I can. Uh, they're, they're, they kind of blend in. They're white. And uh, lens slash couplers. Uh, you have two little tiny, tiny pipettes. Um, little disposable pipettes. You have some tweezers. Uh, tape and strainers. Sample tubes. It's pretty neat. They give you some sample tubes. And a slide box. I'm assuming your little glass slides are in here. They might be plastic, but... Um, I'm going to assume that they're glass, but we'll take a closer look at those here in a bit. Pretty neat. It comes in this actually fairly rigid uh, plastic molded little case form. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It helps you keep it really organized. So I guess these are all the pieces and parts. Okay, so there's all your pieces. So it looks like it's one sheet of paper that's been printed on and then cut out with some kind of laser cutter or some kind of piece of equipment like that. And you will just finish popping these pieces out, folding uh, and assembling them as the instructions say to. Let's just also look what else is in the box before we go into looking at the assembly. Uh, old scope journal, that's pretty neat. Microscope field guide. What is a micron? Okay, so it's got like some some little hints and stuff like just kind of giving you some tips and uh, giving you an idea of what what your notes should look like. Just kind of cool. Kind of neat. Be cool for like um, biology students and stuff like that. It's got a little field guide in the back. Just a little like gold glossary of terms and stuff, like what it, what it looks like, I guess. No, just terms, basically just terms, and then you have quite a few of these little things, and I'm, I'm assuming you might be able to get a hold of another one of these if you, if you fill it up, but I mean, by then your microscope might be kind of worn out too, and you might need to just order another one, uh, but at the price, you really can't can't complain too much. Forty dollars, and you'll get another one of these nice cases and stuff. So, assuming they're still making them and stuff. Uh, nylon filter sheets, mesh opening sizes five, twenty-five, and one hundred microns. That's crazy. Okay. What is this? I guess these are stickers. Sticker bag. Yeah. Tardy sticker. Microcosmos unique ID sticker, uh, clear circle stickers for sample mounting, double stick ring stickers for cell phone mounting. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm assuming they're going to explain that more in the in the instructions as well as what you use those for. I'm assuming these are just little sample bags of some of some some sort. Just there's no there's no like indication of what they are, but I'm assuming you're just going to use these for uh, samples. They're just like Ziplocs. It's just a bag. It's a Ziploc with Ziplocs in it. Little little zipper bags. So yeah. They're fairly small. It looks like there's an assorted number of different sizes in there. Okay, so it looks like little stickers. Okay, here we go. Accessory stickers and slides. Circle dot stickers, diffuser stickers, P, V, C, reusable slide A, B, and C at 0 0.085 millimeters, 0.15 millimeters, and 0.25 millimeters, respectively. Hopefully, you can read that. All right, everybody. So this was my unboxing of the Foldscope Instruments uh, Deluxe U.S. Edition Paper Microscope, and yeah, I mean, um, overall, just from unboxing, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Just for forty dollars, you get a really nice uh, setup, and you also feel good from helping out the company uh, fund more microscopes for people in third world countries and uh, helping them diagnose malaria and stuff. So.
please, uh, before you go, please hit the notification bell and uh, hit subscribe if you're interested in this product because I'm going to be doing an instructional video or just a follow along while I uh, assemble it using their instructions. And uh, I'll also be doing a little video potentially of me using it and just looking at cool stuff underneath it if I can figure out how to get my phone or some other camera up underneath there to show you guys close ups of that. So, yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm also going to link the Foldscope, uh, comp their contact information below if I can find it. If not, I'll leave a link to their website where you can go on there and uh, hit the contacts button and ask them any questions you might have about the product. And yeah, so like I said, please hit the notification button and please look out for those upcoming videos. Alright, you guys have a good one.